be up here and if I have not committed different areas in my life before him, I can speak an anointed word and yet he can hover around me and use that part that is not submitted and, and bought before God, he can pervert the anointing. Example, a friend of uh, a couple that I know, uh, I think it was last year, she was, they were telling me that they love this preacher so much and I like to listen to him. And uh, he's, he's, they say he's a very anointed speaker, preacher, deliverer of God's word. But every time when he speaks, even though the, the word of God is so good, they felt that there was an angry spirit keep coming forth in from him. And they were kind of confused. I believe there was a double stream here because there was an issue of anger that's not taken care of. I know sometimes when people speak, you feel like there is, there is a certain spirit coming forth. That is a double stream. And if you're a worship leader, or even when you are worshiping, when we cannot come to the place where we are totally in worship, worship him with all our heart, our mind, our soul, there is a double stream there. And that's why we don't play with the giftings and talents of God. They are given to us for the purposes of God, not to enlarge our own kingdom, not to enlarge the kingdom of the devil. Or even the church. We're not enlarging the church per se, quote unquote. We are enlarging the kingdom of God. And so, we need to go back to holiness. We need to go back to drinking from the well of God. Slide five, please. And this is something we must continue to do. We need to cast out the devil. I'm teaching now. Maybe teaching is a bit more solid, maybe hard to chew. But this is very important for us to know as we serve him, as we walk our life. Even if we don't think we're serving him in a mighty way, but even in our lives, we can cause that double stream. You know, when I was hungry for, you know, I'm still hungry for God. But there was a time I was so naive, you know. I was so hungry. I was really going out for God, looking for Him wherever. And there were times that, you know, there were manifestations that were really not from God. And that's why I got confused for a while. Because there was a double stream. You see, not every, in every, not in every, not everything in a, what we call a revival is of God. I, um, one one uh, preacher was talking about, I um, forgot his name, um, not Lester Samro, uh, the other one, Shamba, Shamba, I think it's Shamba, yeah, I make I hope I quote correctly, but Shamba is one of the mighty men of God still alive today, right? He's the one. Most of most the uh, mighty men of God in his generation has passed on, but there was a time he told a preacher, you know, um, there was revival. Everybody was so excited about this revival, and here comes Shemba telling him, "No, demons, demons, demons," and this preacher was shocked because Shemba is such a mighty man of God; he can actually see demons. And I think even Lester Sumrall saw Satan himself. So we, in our hunger for God, must know the word of God, that we will only know what is true manifestation of God. Because if it is an anointing from the Lord, it will draw you to Jesus. 
It will not confuse you. It will draw you to Jesus. It will not cause you to, to exalt the person who is preaching. It will draw you to Jesus. It will bring a transformation in your life. You can go to meetings that are so fired up, but if there it does not change you, you have to ask yourself, why? But check, is it because of your sin? Or is it, it was not really the anointing, the full anointing of God there? And there is another area that the, um, the enemy can really write on. If you need someone, um, slide six, please. If you need someone or someone else or something else besides just being in Jesus to make you whole, you have an open door for the enemy to contaminate the anointing that God has placed within you. People who are fame driven to be used on a pedestal, ped, not pedestal, pedestal in services. <laughs> this reminds me of a joke, you know, my, my late uncle, um, you know, probably like me, you know, don't pronounce things very well. And uh, I was telling him at that time we were in Singapore. We just moved to Singapore and uh, we, we always tried to go to the church nearest to us because it was convenient, you know. And so we went to this church called the Presbyterian Church. So, so he came and visited us in, uh, in, uh, in Singapore and he said, what church are you going to now? You know, he's Anglican and uh, bless him. He's a really mighty man of God. And so I said, oh, we're going to the Presbyterian Church. He looked at me. And he said, I've never heard of a pe pedestrian church. <laughs> yeah, I guess we, we, it's a pedestrian church because we walk there. <laughs> so I'll never forget him because it's so funny. Every time he will say, oh, how's the church doing? How's the pedestrian church doing? <laughs> and I would laugh. And Gordon is smiling because he's, he's such a funny guy. We really miss him. He passed uh, two years ago. It's one of the you know, most humorous of our uncles. Um, uh oh, I'm lost. Okay. <laughs> People who are fame uh, driven to be used uh, on the pedestal in uh, services so that people to s can see that they are anointed. <laughs> Everyone is laughing. So that they can see, other people can see they're anointed. Huh? Lif Lucifer can use that against us and against the, the people that we minister to. This is important for you to hear. He can use it against us and against the people we minister to. Stop. <laughs> so you need to ask yourself a lot of questions are you drinking from another well that you are allowing Satan to come in to contain, con contaminate the anointing? Are you allowing things in your life, you know, still that Satan can come in and contaminate the anointing? The more giftings and talents we have, the more we must be um, Kristen? Yeah, go back to it. Oh, there, okay. Okay, the, the bottom um, point. The more gifting and talents we have, the more we must be broken, humble, and submitted before God. We need to be consecrated and walking in holiness. You know, God, there are many people talk about, oh, but God is love. He, you know, it, it doesn't make sense that he's such a, a, a God of judgment. You know, in the, in the word of God, love is usually said once. Jesus would say, verily, verily, twice. That means it's important. But remember, when the angels come before God, they say what? They say, 
holy, holy, holy. Three times.